I'm now going to go through the process of configuring user profile management, folder redirection and user environment settings in Citrix Workspace Environment Management. I have a session on a ZAP server here built with Windows Server 2016. This is just a build with Microsoft Office on and everything else as default. With the recycle bin on the desktop, run in the start menu and shut down and sign off in there as well. The basic Windows background is applied and it has the Citrix workspace environment management agent on there but it has no policy configured as yet. So if we swap over to the workspace environment management administrator console and we go into the policies and profiles section I can now start to configure the environmental settings. If I enable process environmental settings the exclude administrator is enabled as we only want these settings to apply to our Citrix users. I can now set options for the start menu that would normally be configured in group policy. There's a whole host of options in here such as hide common programs, remove run from the start menu, hide administrative tools, hide help, hide find, plus many many more as shown. For my configuration, I'm just going to select the remove run from the start menu, hide administrative tools, force log off button and hide turn off computer. I'm then going to set the appearance settings. I'll set my theme and style to use the arrow settings and I'll set the wallpaper to use an access systems background and set it to, be, to fit in place. So I'll just copy that in there now. There we go, and then just change that one to fit. And then I'll go to the desktop settings, and I can now set the desktop options. So I'm going to select the option to hide the recycle bin, as that was on the desktop. And now I'm going to move into the Windows Explorer settings, which you'd normally set in Group Policy settings. Okay. So in here, I'm going to prevent access to the command prompt. You've also got the option to prevent access to the registry editing tools and many more options in here. The other thing I'm going to do is hide specified drives in Explorer. So for this I'll hide the drives A, B, C and D. Just click OK. And now I can go and set, change my control panel settings. And I'm just going to show certain control panel applets. I'm going to enable display, devices and printers and the ease of access center as well. So I'll just add the ease of access center in now. Now all these settings are in place, I just click on the apply button and it tells me in the bottom right hand corner that the settings have been applied successfully. If you forget to click on the apply button and you move to your next set set uh, section, all those settings will be lost and you have to enter them again and apply them again. As you can see, mine have saved and they're still in place. So I've kind of moved on to Microsoft USV settings. So in the Microsoft USV settings, I'm going to enable process user state virtualization configuration and exclude the administrators again. I'll go to the folder redirection, one of two tab, and in here I can set redirection for the desktop, documents, pictures, music and videos. I'll enable all of these and enter my redirected folder paths into each one apart from pictures, music and videos, which will follow the documents folder. So I'll just enter those in now. Okay, so now that's they're done, I'll move on to the folder redirection two of two tabs. And in here I can set the folder redirection for the start menu, favorites, app data, contacts, downloads, links and searches. So I'll enable them all. I'll just enter my redirected folder paths into each one.
Okay, so now they're all in place, I can just go and cl hit, click on the apply button and now it's applied my settings, so I've got the successful messages. Uh, just make sure they're in place again, yeah. And now we can move on to uh, the Citrix User Profile Management set. Okay, so I'll set the option to enable Citrix UPM Settings Management and enable Profile Management. I'll then set process groups to add my Citrix Users group in. Okay, and I can then set the uh, user store path. Okay, and once that's done, I can enable active write back as well, and then move on to profile handling. So I'll set it to delete locally cached profiles after 30 seconds. Uh, then enable migration of both local and roaming profiles. And then if there is a profile conflict, I'll set it to delete the local profile. Okay, and then in log settings, I'll enable log settings, and then I'll select all options so we've got the both logging in place. I'll also set the maximum log file size and just leave that as default, and then I'll set a path to the log file, which will just be C logs file, or logs folder, sorry, on the uh, on the ZenApp server. Then you can enable registry exclusions or inclusions. I haven't got anything to add in there at the moment. Uh, I can. I'm going to enable file and folder exclusions, so they're both in place. You also apply default ones for XP in 2003 and 2008. Uh, sorry, and Windows 7 and 2008 R2. There's a handy little tool in here for profile cleansing. So if you add any new file exclusions or folder exclusions, this will scan the, the user profiles and it will remove the file folder exclusions that you've added in. So it can create a fair bit of space for you. Okay, so in the synchronization settings, uh, we're going to enable directory synchronization, file mirroring, and folder mirroring as well. I've got there's nothing to add in here at the moment. And finally, I'm just going to enable profile streaming. Once that's done, just click apply again, and they've applied successfully. Yep, all the settings are still in place. And now I can go and push out these settings to my ZenApp server now. So I'm just going to do these for the actual agent. And I'll just log off and then log back in as a user. Okay, if I now log back into my desktop, So as you can see, you can already see the access systems backgrounds applied. The recycle bin has already gone from the desktop as well. Run will not run as we've disabled that. Now if we're going to look at what drives we've got, we can see that our drives A, B, C and D are missing because we should be able to see the CD, ROM drive and the C drive on there. The redirected folders are working, so the downloads is not point in the right direction and yeah, the Documents folder has also been redirected. I'll just uh, try and run command.exe now, so I'll create a shortcut onto the desktop. Yeah, and as you can see, that's been disabled by the policy, and everything's now in place what we've applied.